Who said give me liberty or give me death? That was a... Uh... That dude! <laughs> Abraham Lincoln? No, no, because no, it's in the beginning. Abraham Lincoln's too late, I feel like, right? He was like the third president, dude. Just don't say Martin Luther King and we're good. It... <laughs> Is it George Washington? I'm George Washington. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello. How are you? Good. good. How are you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm going to ask you a few questions from the U.S. immigration test today. Oh. So, to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some of the hardest questions on the immigration chat to see if you know about the U.S. So just try your best to answer them. All right. All right. The first question. I'm about as American as it comes. <laughs> the first question is: In the House of Representatives, how many voting members are there? <laughs> um. <laughs> I want to say like 500. 42. Okay. 42. Because <laughs> that's the right answer. Is it 48? 40, I changed my answer. 48. Wait. <laughs> two. Two. She's wrong. Two. 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 537. No, wait, it's like 120. Okay. 400. I don't know. 437. Oh, oh, oh. It depends. <laughs> It depends, oh, it depends on the population of the state. Yes. Oh, I. It depends so we on the population don't know. of the state, Maybe. but we don't know a lot. Like uh, five thousand. <laughs> the answer is four hundred thirty-five. Yeah, four hundred. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Twelve, not twelve. When was the Constitution written? Like seventeen seventy some six. Seventeen seventy-six. Seventeen sixty-four. In the seventeen hundreds, right? <laughs> Why are you looking 1800s? at me? Eighteen hundreds. I'm gonna 18, say 7, 1842. No, I'm gonna say like. I like the 18th, 1802. I don't know, before 1776. Um, um, in 18. Oh, when did we get our independence? I don't know. 19. June, June, no, July, no. July 4th. Um, yeah, obviously, 18. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I don't really pay attention to class sometimes. Like the dates. I don't know the stuff. Yeah, that I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead. I know it's before. Uh, 1787. Some close. <laughs> You're close, dude. Okay, You're okay, close. Okay. You're good. You're doing good. Name the second longest river in the U.S. <laughs> These are hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I probably could name you the longest river. Right. So, Mississippi's probably the longest. Maybe. Maybe the second. I'm gonna go with the Rio Grande, the Hudson River. <laughs> This is probably the Mississippi, or like, are there other rivers? I can't even think. <laughs> okay, they want you to say Mississippi, but that's not what they. <laughs> not the Mississippi, because that's the first. The Missouri. I don't know if I can even name another river. I can't name another river. I know the Great Lakes. List <laughs> 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 the Great Lakes then. I know of the Great Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a combined <laughs> thing. Oh. Do you think it's somewhere like in the Appalachian Mountains? <laughs> the Appalachian River? <laughs> so the second biggest is the Missouri. Missouri has a river? <laughs> so I was the sixth grade geography B champ. Oh my god! So, so I should have known. Knew this. I should have known the longest river. Who was the president during World War One? Uh, Richard Nixon. I was gonna say Nixon, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a Nixon? No. Oh! I think I'm ready! Wait. Okay. No, the bomb was the second one. No, okay. Wasn't he friends with, like... No, okay. Nixon. Eisenhower. That was, like... Harry Truman? Um, Roosevelt. Is it, like, a Hoover or something? Woodrow Wilson. Damn. Close. Who is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court today? Currently? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Some old dude. We're supposed to know these things? This is crazy. Like Ruth Bader like? Ginsburg. <laughs> Beatrice? I think I might have made that name up. <laughs> Beatrice? It came up so natural. <laughs> it's not RPG. It's that one guy. Didn't he just die? Oh, no. That's a different one. How many stripes are on the flag? Thirteen. And what do they represent? Thirteen colonies. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> fifty. No, there's fifty stars. Oh, oh, oh. Twenty-five. Thirteen. 
for the 13, 13 colonies. Yes. Tw 12. No guess. So I'm going with that. <laughs> Do you know what the, the stripes on the flag represent? It's the uh, 13 colonies. So yeah. what made you guess 12? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What are the 13 original states? I thought it was seven. <laughs> Probably starting on the East Coast. Coast. Okay, let's go with <gasps> Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, New York, Maryland. New York, I think, was mm -hmm. definitely one. But it's new. But it's <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, Massachusetts, New York, um, <laughs> Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Island is that a place? <laughs> no, like is Rhode Island the state? Yeah. <laughs> Connecticut, New Hampshire, Georgia. Carolinas. Yeah. Um, Alabama. Mississippi. Maine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. One more, one more. Vermont. Final answer. South Carolina, North Carolina, Maryland, Delaware. How many more is that? I think that was it. Oh, let's go. What is the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? Bill of Rights. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You do know something. No, some of those, you know yeah. The commandments. <laughs> Bill of Rights. Oh, the wait, the first the rules? No. <laughs> it's like the first ten amendments? The ten amendments? It's not the preamble or, Oh yes, yeah, preamble? The Bill of Rights. Why did the pilgrims come to America? Oh, to um escape religious, religious persecution. I, they were unhappy with like British rule. It was like it was sort of like a it was becoming like socialist or communist or the, like sort of. For religious reasons, they were being repressed. Religious persecution. I think something with the Church of England and then they got like thrown out and then they were like, all right, we're going to go to the New World. And then they found that one place, Plymouth Rock, and they were like, oh, it's kind of cool here, even though they, I don't know. Who said give me liberty or give me death? That was a... Uh... That dude! <laughs> Liberty or give me death. I should know that. I feel like I should. I definitely do. We, we learned this for sure. I know. It's some dude on the horse. That you're thinking of Paul Revere. Which no, is, is dude. Not. They all rode horses. <laughs> oh, Abraham Lincoln. No, no, no. Because it's in the beginning. Abraham Lincoln's too late. I feel like right. Who's like the third president? Dude. Paul Revere. Just don't say Martin Luther King. And we're good. It, can I give you like a? No, 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 it's, is it George Washington? I want George Washington. No. Some, like, somebody like Thomas Jefferson or, or Benjamin Franklin. What are the constitutional requirements to be eligible to be president? Oh, born, born in the United, United States. States. <laughs> Let's go. You have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to be born in the U.S., not just a U.S. citizen. You have to be at least 35. You have to be like 35 years of age, right? Yeah. You have to be a, like 18 years or older. Forty, I thought you have to be at least forty. No, well, eight, no, eighteen. That's just eighteen is too young. I'm saying at least forty. I live in the U.S. for at least fourteen years. I, yeah, I would okay. never go. How do you feel about Trump's policies for immigration? Honestly, I think they're probably terrible. I don't know too much about him, but he's a terrible guy. So like, it most likely is terrible. So I think that means that. Uh, his policies are kind of like whack, you know. America isn't really in a good place to tell people like who can and can't come to America, you know. I think it would just make everything better if they would just like embrace people and they just like spread it all out. Trash. They just, I mean like America's a melting pot. We just like shut off immigration that kind of just like takes away a whole aspect of like what the United States is. Unfair, kind of racist. Uh, I think it's pretty ridiculous. I could like go on a whole rant, but yeah. I mean, he shouldn't have the ability to make decisions in the first place. So I just think there's probably a lot of like, like people died in those like yeah. immigration facilities, which I think is already an issue in itself. But the money that's trying, they're trying to like fund the wall with, all of that could be used on like like Flint, Michigan Flint, still doesn't Puerto have water, Rico like, still struggling yeah, with consistent like, electricity. I think that there's so many people that deserve to be um, citizens in this country. I'm from New Mexico, so. 
Um, I know a lot of illegal immigrants, and they're just such amazing people and deserve to live in this country. And I think that just our immigration laws should be reformed in some way that makes it easier for them to, I mean, be, be one of us. I think that if we didn't have immigrants, the base of our country would crumble. Immigrants do all the work that average Americans feel like they're too entitled to do or wouldn't want to do. Majority of the crimes that happen in the U.S. are by U.S. citizens. So, like, what are you restricting immigration for? But I really don't say much at all. I swear I don't. <laughs> I swear. I feel like the U.S. is doing a complete disregard for human rights for people, especially in the case for immigrants from Mexico. Especially with all these turbulent times, they're putting a lot of people in institutions where they are stripped of their rights as humans. With our transition in uh, presidential candidates occurring pretty soon, I hope that the administration of the um, 2020 era is different than now, but that's for the future to tell rather than us to assume. Okay, I think that's it. That's all of it? Yeah. That I, am I graduating? Definitely not.